this video may change the way that you see the entire world. Now to start this video off, we'll use our good friend Brian. Brian is a two-dimensional stick figure. Now since we are three-dimensional beings looking at a two-dimensional world, we can clearly see this box with the purple sun on it, and we can see this tree. Now it may be tempting to think that Brian can see all of this too, but the truth is he actually can't. From Brian's perspective, everything that he is seeing directly in front of him is simply going to be a collection of one-dimensional lines. Now this of course begs the question, how do we as three-dimensional beings observe our three-dimensional world which we live in? You might be surprised to hear that our eyes actually play a trick on us. Everything in our world we observe as a two-dimensional surface. The depth that we observe is simply just an illusion by our eyes and typically the lighting in the situation. In order to truly see the planet that we live in, you need a creature that's living in a higher dimension. Creatures that live past the third dimension could fully see all angles and size of our three-dimensional world. This concept is both strange and terrifying just like my backwards check marks. If you came across this video, you officially cannot escape. Even if you scroll off this video or turn off your device, it will not make a difference. Let me explain. The moment you started watching this video, you witnessed an event on your cell phone or computer, and the light from this event expanded. Now to be a little bit more specific, this light took about a 300,000 kilometer step forward in only one second. So basically, this light is moving fast enough to travel back and forth between the city of Dallas in the United States and the city of Tokyo, Japan 14 times in only one second. This is the speed of light and no matter in the universe, including yourself, is able to surpass this speed. So basically, the exact moment that you witness an event anywhere in the universe, you are officially trapped by the light from that event. Once you are trapped by this sphere of light, it does not matter where in the universe you travel to, the light has beat you there already. So unfortunately, you can't escape the light which you've already witnessed, but you can share this video with friends so they get trapped in light as well. We dreamed of being able to reach planets and stars that were thousands of light years away from Earth. The problem is, traveling this deep into outer space at the moment is impossible. Because if it takes light over a thousand years to reach this location, even our fastest rocket ships wouldn't have a chance. But scientists haven't given up hope on the concept of deep space travel. Now, it would not be ideal to try and brute force our way through space, because we couldn't possibly reach a destination that's thousands of light years away. But we're not trying to beat a large distance in space, but rather trying to outsmart it. And doing this would be theoretically possible if we assume the three dimensions of space we observe is not the full picture. So this is one of the many reasons scientists have studied things like holes in space-time, and even higher dimensions predicted by string theory. Utilizing these concepts, it's hypothetically possible that there are shortcuts in our universe. Basically pathways in higher dimensions that could make deep space travel possible. I find the best way to understand wormholes is to think about a two-dimensional flat world. Now imagine we have a two-dimensional person in this world, and we'll call her Sophie. And let's say Sophie is trying to reach a location that is far away. In fact, her destination is so far away, she cannot possibly reach it in her lifetime. What is something that we could do to help Sophie out? Well, if we were to cut a hole at two points in Sophie's world and connect them together, notice how Sophie now has a shortcut to reach her destination much faster. This is the basic idea of a wormhole, and it is theorized that wormholes could exist in our universe. So if we wanted to reach a planet that is extremely far away from Earth, a wormhole could allow us to reach our destination faster than even light could travel there. Now keep in mind, this would not be some teleportation space magic. These two parts of the wormhole are connected, but they're connected in a higher dimension that we can't comprehend. Just like Sophie's wormhole was connected in a third dimension that she could not comprehend. You most likely live on Earth. But imagine if somewhere out there, there was another world with a different version of you. And imagine that this version of you is, say, an astronaut or even a pop star. Would something like this even be possible? Well, this is the basic hypothesis of multiple parallel universes. And one of the simplest theories to explain this idea of a multiverse goes like this. Those of us living on Earth only observe a portion of the universe which light has expanded to. A different species living on a planet far away from Earth would be able to observe a different portion of the universe which light has expanded to in their frame of reference. With endless galaxies, planets, and possibilities, it would be likely that another portion of the universe is near identical to ours. Now unfortunately, many individuals including myself are quite skeptical about this theory, and there really isn't any solid evidence to back this hypothesis. But on the bright side, these theories do make for some great science fiction stories.